right, hello everyone. It's been a couple days since we posted. We wanted to give you an update of what's going on down here in South Carolina. Well, unfortunately, things are going from bad to worse. There's more cases of coronavirus and more deaths, but nothing like up in New York State or out in California, but still uh, the cases are going up. Um, so Myrtle Beach has decided to close all their hotels for the month of April. Yeah, and I think anyone that's in the hotel now, they have to be out by this Sunday. That's right, everybody has to leave by Sunday. And if you're visiting this area from New York, they're requesting that you go in quarantine for two weeks. The governor has also instructed that the police can now break up groups of three or more people. This is because of a problem on the beach where congregates of young kids and older people also were getting together in large groups. So if you're three or more and you're on the beach or anywhere else congregating together, the police supposedly are gonna come and break you up. So we wanna go down and check out and see what's going on down at Garden City Beach, see how this is affecting the beach. Is the beach empty? Is everyone gone? So we're gonna go down and check it out, right? Right. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, so let's go down and check out Garden City Beach. We're gonna do it today, today's Friday, and also tomorrow, Saturday which may be more of an issue because uh, today and tomorrow and Saturday especially, it's gonna go into the 80s. So that will cause people to go to the beach, but you can't go more than three or more because if you do, the cops are gonna break you up. Hey, we're almost to the beach. I'm gonna show you the free parking spot. That's all spots, actually there's a bunch of them that are near the beach that you can go to, but only the locals know but we're gonna share the little secret. Stay tuned. We're getting close to Guard City Beach. It looks like people aren't staying home. Yeah, it looks pretty crowded, Sue. Oh boy. The beaches are open, but you're supposed to have no more than three persons together at one time, so let's see. So the road that we turn off, we make a left, is a road just before Dunes Realty. I'll show you. It's called Dogwood Drive North. Oh boy. I think our free parking spaces are done. Look at all the people. I don't think so, hon. Where are you going? Looks like it's packed. Yeah. This is where the parking would have been. The actual street that the free parking is, is Magnolia street but you turn down dogwood to get here yeah it's only one block off the ocean so it is a good place to park um but let's head down to the beach and see if uh, people are heeding the uh governor's order not to have more than three people together at one time okay there are also smaller free parking lots right along the beach and a paved municipal lot that's close to the ocean Okay, so we're here and it's clear nobody's listening to the governor's order. Uh, and the police are supposedly supposed to come down and break up these groups, but take a look. More than three together at one time. All right, it's a beautiful day, so we're here, Garden City Beach. We might as well just walk up the beach and check things out, right? Right. Ready for a walk? I'm ready. Yeah, we usually try to do when we come down here, we try to do about a three, four mile walk. Something like that. Yep, yeah. gotta get outside, get some fresh air. Um, stay away from people as we do it. All right. We're There's halfway. the police up there, let's see what they're doing. I don't think much is going on with the police. Maybe they're handing out citations and we don't know. I don't think so. Take a look at all the people ahead of us.
After our long walk, we were thirsty, so we stopped at our favorite place on the beach, Conk's Cafe, and had a takeout drink, strawberry daiquiri. As expected, the outdoor tables were closed, so we took our drinks and walked back to the car. Hey, good morning. It's Saturday morning and we're going to head back to Garden City Beach to check out the beach scene. As you may remember from yesterday, the governor said that there should be no more gatherings of uh, three or more uh, and that supposedly the police can break up large gatherings on the beach. Um, of note, also late yesterday, the governor of South Carolina stated that if you're coming from the states of New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, or from the city of New Orleans, you must quarantine yourself for two weeks upon arrival. If not, you actually face a 30-day jail sentence. What do you think of that? That's pretty, uh, That's pretty good. intense. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, all right, so what do you want to do now? Well, let's go to the beach, but stay away from three or more people. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're going to practice, uh, what's the, what do they call it? Social distancing. Social distancing to keep ourselves and others safe. All right, let's head to the beach. There were definitely more people at the beach today than there were yesterday. We had to drive around to find a spot. Even the municipal paid lot was filled, but fortunately a spot opened up at the lot we parked at yesterday. Can't believe we got the last spot. Just Thank like, goodness. Yeah, just like yesterday, we got the last spot. All right, ready? Let's head to the beach. All right, let's do this. The police were keeping an eye on things, and at first it did not look too crowded. But then the crowds began to grow and the groups got larger. Shortly after we sat down, waves of teens began to arrive and social distancing went out the window. All right, so today was a lot busier than it was on Friday. No sign of any social distancing. Groups were certainly greater than three, and we were surrounded by um, teenagers within a couple minutes after we sat down. So um, looks like uh, people just going about their normal business. Looks like nobody's listening to the governor. That's right. So, uh, all right, we'll see how things go, but uh, we'll keep you updated on how things are in South Carolina. But as always, until next time, safe travels. Although Sue and I love the beach, after what we saw today, we believe that the governor of South Carolina needs to close the beaches. It would be an effective step to slow the spread of COVID-19, especially with the summer season coming upon us.